I saw this one today. This actually comes from r slash sad cringe. Is this just gonna make me sad? It's not really that sad, more as it's just like, holy shit, this is awkward as Oh my god! <laughs> I I just like he, I want to know the context of what is going on in that. I situation. guess is that like an arranged marriage, and then she's, that's what I was thinking. They're they they like, both look at the camera, just like for like reassurance, like yay, we're happy. Yeah, it, and the dude the dude picks up his hand. He puts it on her face. He clearly like just did not want his hand right there. Like he was like. They're like, hey, you need to do this for the photo op, and he was like, no. I think he put it on top of her her head. Like, he took the hand, put it on her shoulder, and then it was like, okay, I don't want my hand on the shoulder. And then the guy takes his hand and just puts it on the top of her head. <laughs> Wait, he does! <laughs> he just puts it back on his shoulder, then back down. You know what this reminds me of? Uh. Um... Napoleon Dynamite when um that when he's they're taking the pictures because they want to get name tags for like their salesman shit and Uncle Rico's and like Deb's uh, oh my movie. god you're absolutely like, <laughs> <laughs> he's rest your fist slowly below your chin and it's like the guy gets in the ear of this dude and he's like now if you're gonna take her hand your hand put it right on top of her head where her hair's at yes <laughs> yes oh dude the way the girl looks is just like <laughs> defeated like all right. Is this over yet? Yeah, you said that wasn't sad. You lied. You know the big debacle, like the r slash anti work shit. So I saw I saw this one today that I thought was kind of just goofy as all hell. My boss caught me doing push ups at this nearly empty garage I was working in without sitting for hours and decided to give me homework. A one page essay on how push ups would help customers. Should I write him my two week notice? Yes, bro. Fucking quit. Easy. This guys like. So he's grinding, doing these push-ups. Like he's, what if he just becomes this like famous bodybuilder or like fucking like pro wrestler that's just absolutely shredded? Like and he's super famous and he just writes like his biography and he's like, yeah, when I was 21 years old, my boss didn't let me do push-ups in his garage, so I fucking quit. <laughs> R slash true off my chest. I still think about the plumber that unclogged my pipe 10 years ago. 10 years ago, my pipe got clogged and pushed a huge amount of feces out the drain in my backyard. A plumber came and I thought he was, he would use some kind of tool to unclog the pipe. Nope. Motherfucker walked over to the mountain of feces and shoved his hand into the drain and kept pulling stuff out. No gloves, no tools. Went in arm deep. I just stood there in shock. He then washed his arm with the garden hose. Didn't even ask for soap. <laughs> Sometimes I think about him while I'm trying to sleep. Last night was one of those nights. Dude, like, what the fuck? You know he had a pair of gloves. Or even the, <laughs> even the person's it. house it was. They, they had some form of sanitary way of doing this, and he decided not to. My thought? I think this dude was just 10 years ahead of COVID. Straight up. Like, yo, vaccines, cool. Social distancing, whatever. You want to know the real way to dodge COVID? Just expose yourself to the most amount of germs and, like, disease as physically possible. Like, all in one setting. He said he like is living the blue collar embodiment. He's like, no, I don't need any of your fucking handouts. I'm gonna rope this feces out myself. That is a fucking manly man. Absolutely so no guy, fucks given. This guy's basically just the chick that licked that toilet seat on TikTok that got famous, but like times a thousand, and he wants none of the notoriety. Yeah, no, no, that's the thing. He's like, he didn't record that shit. That is just something he did. We're we're getting we're getting someone else's. <laughs> depiction of that and he washed it with the garden hose didn't ask for soap <laughs> you know he's done nastier shit than that too if that's like <laughs> oh, like i don't yeah. know this at this point the sky's the limit with this dude an excellent trade like if you want to go into trades it's like it's one of the kind of one of the top tier things you do if like money wise like i just think it's so fun there's just some boys in there that is the men with the hairiest chests absolutely <laughs> yeah. undoubtedly like the highest testosterone yeah. count probably imaginable yeah so this guy with one of the best one-liners I think I've ever heard in my life. Dude, your hair is, like, really nice. So are my ball hairs. Bro, come on. You're ugly, so it don't matter. Why the fuck you'd match with me, you short ass? I gotta bend down to kiss you anyways, loser. Tinder, you just want to find love, right? And I just see so many of these people come on this platform. Dude, I mean, like, I'd be like... I'd be pretty flattered if a girl was like, dude, your hair is, like, really nice. It's perfect. And he's like, so my ball. Dude, like, what a just <laughs> complete 180. Yeah, well, I don't know if he was trying to be, like, funny. Like, haha, so my ball hairs. Didn't work. Whatever, whatever he 
meant to do did not work. But Dude, then, yeah, I mean, she kind of clapped like, back. You short ass. I got to bend down to kiss you anyways, loser. Go on. Hit him. Man. Go off, queen. Yeah, no kidding. That's the thing, They're dude. If, if, if he's firing with these kind of responses, it's ba it's got to have worked sometime. Oh, yeah. It had to have worked before. That's the thing. He could have played. And, like, I can't tell by his picture. But, I mean, it looks like he's, like, decently good looking. I don't know. But, like, why? Like, oh, yeah, he might be fit. Yeah. He totally could have bagged this. The title. <laughs> my significant other won't stop buying pillows and it's ruining my goddamn life. Me, 27 male, my partner, 25 female, have been together for four years. Don't get me wrong. It's been great. We've built a life together. Raised a wonderful aloof cat had each other's backs through difficult times of sickness and unemployment i don't i didn't think pillows in bold pillows would be our goddamn undoing i know this is a first world problem but holy fuck she likes to decorate and makes things cozy i'm down with that i love the heated mattress pad the fuzzy bathrobe the comfy pillows but there becomes a point where there's too many pillows. Yeah, it, it was cool when pillows occupied the top 15% or so of the bed. Two pillows, one each, sure. Three, yeah, maybe I can use one under my hip for support. Four, yeah, whatever, that is the same number. Oh, now you want pillows that are for looks? But I can't toss them on the floor? What the fuck? Now 30% of the bed space is occupied by pillows. My neck is at an acute fucking angle. <laughs> They piled on top of me, starving me of fresh oxygen. I sleep like I have apnea. My performance at work is suffering, and people notice dark circles under my eyes. The bed looks like we're trying to keep Hurricane Katrina at bay, but it's pillows instead of sandbag. I'd go to sleep on the couch, but there are 80 fucking pillows there, too. I know they're called throw pillows because I want to throw them into a fucking furnace. Fuck. Edit. Oh my god, he this just... exploded. If I had a pillow for every <laughs> reply to this post, I'd have like 248 less pillows. Dude, I mean, he's got a... P I mean, okay. I don't think this is... Would be relationship ruining, but I totally understand, like... All the real estate of a couch being taken up by a pillow drives me fucking crazy. Or on the couches I have, we have two on each, and it's, uh, even that's too much for me, because you always just throw them on the ground. There is a point where there's too many pillows. Like, wait, and like, they never stop buying them. The, like, you <laughs> know this dude was actually pissed off, like, the acute fucking my angle. My neck is at an just, acute fucking <laughs> angle. Oh geom my God. Geometry terms to describe, like, his hatred for these pillows. That's incredible. No, I, I ride with my guy here, though. My girlfriend won't stop buying pillows, and it's ruining my goddamn life. My goddamn life. life. It's like, I can't get any work done. I'm tired all the fucking time. I sleep like my I have sleep apnea. I'm starving me of fresh my oxygen. I can't breathe. My life is falling apart because of these pillows. <laughs> Just read the fucking title. YouTuber reviews scotch while his girlfriend is in the middle of packing her things and leaving. So things are in a little bit of disarray back there. Well, Cindy and I are breaking up. All right, so they're breaking up. Yeah. yeah, I can enjoy that. I said, what? no, it's hard. No, it's really fucking hard. Bro, he's recording. Oh, no, no, just no. wait, some, dude. Uh, some Lafroig 10. Some pretty nice scotch. <laughs> no compromises. Bro, she's you know? like, oh, she's like so actively nice. leaving, dude. But he, he doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's only one thing that man wants, it's that scotch. Baby. Yeah, he's just like, fuck it, dude. You might be leaving me, but I'm I'm still reviewing this yeah, goddamn nice. scotch. You're not going to stop me. Lose a bit to the floor. Oh. No <laughs> <tar. so> <laughs> like, she doesn't even exist. Road tar smoke. It's got that medi medicinal quality to it. Bye. <laughs> That's it. Oh, got that just, medicinal quality oh, to bye. it. Bye. I accidentally got a blowjob from my friend that I... <laughs> And now I'm questioning my sexuality. Killer title. My head is kind of spinning right now. Two days ago, I hung out with my friend and we were both and we both got a little drunk. He always jokingly flirts with me, but I never thought he was serious about it. We were both very drunk and we start talking about sex. And he starts telling me that the bi guys he meets always tell him that the sex with men is much better than women because men know what men like. He then tells me that he gives amazing blowjobs and jokingly asks if I want one. I say no, but I play along with the joke and five minutes later, he's pulling me out of my pants and I receive the best blowjob in my life. <laughs> like godly. If there was a Hall of Fame, he'd be in it. After I finished, I panicked and left. It would have been great, but it's incredibly complicated since I have a girlfriend who I've been with for two years. I've considered myself straight for years and have never really fantasized about guys, but at most been able to notice if a guy is a really nice ass, but that's it. Uh, I don't like dicks or the idea of touching one. I've also never considered cheating on my girlfriend. I love her so much. I IDK what I'm going to tell her. I love how it's accidentally. Nothing like, about that was accidental, pal. Oh yeah, accidentally like... Took my pants off and put it in his mouth. The part that gets me is the if there was a Hall of Fame, he'd be in it. Best blowjob of my life. Just like like the Barry Bonds of blowjobs. Like it can't be in the <laughs> Hall of Fame because you're like confused, but it's like we know it was the best one. <laughs> like. Right. <laughs>
It's like the unofficial of best. It's the girlfriend goes. Dude, yeah, well, like, what do you tell her? Like, because, yeah, that's that's for sure still cheating in my, like, my book. I don't oh, think 100%, like, yeah, like, and it's like... But I feel like it's a little less severe. Dude, that'd be, like, re yeah. that'd be, like, revelating. That'd be, like, holy shit, like, not only did my boyfriend cheat on me, but he might be gay or bi or whatever, which is, like, you know... Yeah, could you... Yeah, and it's, she's, it's like... It's like, like a Freddie like... Mercury situation. Remember, he, like, tells his lady, yeah. that, and she's, like... She was pretty understanding. She's like, it's not even your fault, but... It would be, like, sad. Well, it, well, all cheating is sad, I guess, but, like... It would be more sad than anything, in my opinion. That'd be a tough pill to swallow. I don't understand. He said no. And after saying no, five minutes later, he's getting hit. Like, what happened in those five minutes? I, I need to know. He just takes care of his boys. Maybe your lady doesn't put out too much. So, like, how about I give you some head? Hey guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. This is a new series me and my friends are going to be doing called Reddit Reaction Rodeo. Let me know what you guys think of this first episode. If you liked, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Comment if you'd like. And as always, thank you for watching.